Hello and welcome to the 15th episode of My Zay Only Iron Man. To kick off this episode, we are going to get... There we are, 68 farming, and that unlocks the... Currently the highest fruit trees until about 36 more hours. Uh, yeah, I managed to fit in another clip before the Kibo Slowlands update hits. I figured, you know what? Might as well start the next episode since I kind of ended it already. And we're also going to buy our first piece of the Tithe outfit. So this should add like 1.2 experience, 1.2% experience, something like that. But yeah, um, I still have a fair bit of time and I'm going to continue Tithe farming. I'm going to try to see about hitting a about 82 farming see if I can get that boost so that's on the agenda for the farming guild all that content coming out uh, this episode is going to be mainly focused on the Kibo Slowland uh, maybe if I have some time I'll go back to those goals I still gotta go get agility I'm up to 69 now and also room crafting too and range so yeah it's going to be a highly high octane uh content packed exciting episode because there's so much that's going to be happening this episode so i hope you enjoy and here's the episode so to kick off the episode i end up getting my first task ever and yes i ended up realizing that i accidentally had a uh, body in the background so ignore that in the next clip patient person on the planet man i am patient so yes it may have took me about 45 seconds to find so the loot was pretty decent. I hit the drop table a couple times, got 11 rune ore and 5k earth runes. So on to the second task. So that task was bugged and I couldn't actually do it. I had 38 slayer, couldn't wear these boots of stone, and if I entered the dungeon without the boots of stone, which required 44 slayer to wear, I basically got destroyed and it would kill me. So. The thing got hotfixed the following day, and I had to reroll the task. So yeah, I can't do that task now, and that basically puts me in a dilemma. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. So I just want to get you caught up to date with what I've done so far. I've gotten a new best in slot, the Rune Full Helm, and I've also gotten some more Alcables, Rune Med Helms, a bit more cash, and I've gotten some Battle Staffs. I've been killing Twisted Banshees with the new earmuffs that I ended up getting, and I also bought some Slayer Gems and such. I've also killed some of the Shamans in the new single combat area and have gotten some other items too. I finished the Tithe farming set and also completed the Zaya Easy Diaries, which makes me the first to complete the Zaya Easy Diaries of the Zaya Only Iron Man. I've also grown a cactus, a whiteberry bush, and a yew tree, plus I've been working on herb lore. So that's pretty much how everything's been going on this. Been doing farming contracts, which typically have been having me plant different seeds and such. I've also gotten some of the new seeds, such as the battle tree, balsaf tree, and some potato cactus, and some of the snape grass seeds. So that's pretty much generally what I've done so far. Um, I put the lamp from the diary on Slayer, and that puts me at 39 Slayer with 2k to 40. So after a bit of thinking and talking to some other people, posting in the Reddit, etc., I am going to go through with uh, doing Slayer. I think it unlocks a ton of content, and yes, it is on the mainland. However, I am getting assigned by task from a... Uh, say a Slayer Master. So I still do get a decent amount of Zaya only tasks. They're, well, they're actually kind of somewhat common. It's like a 60%, 70%. Uh, it just depends on like what your Slayer level and that is. So if I just bring it over to here. Yep. This is the Slayer task and what it looks like. So I can get basically a decent amount of task on Zaya. Um, the green means it's a 100% chance on Zaya. Yellow means it's uh, possible and then to be 
on Zaya, off Zaya, and then red is basically it's guaranteed off Zaya. So what I would be doing is I would be blocking Calcite. It's the first thing that I do. Um, and because they have two different roles, uh, the rest of them, Cave Kraken, Krask, Turofs, they all have a one roll, and Smoke Devils. So I'm going to leave those unblocked. I only get one block because of the quest point issue. I only have enough to unlock one block, so... Uh, that's how it's going to work for the Blocking Slayer. Um, I really do think that it's going to bring a lot to the account. And I guess the argument is, yes, it is Isaiah only. However, by accessing the content that was put on Zaya and intended to be used, I think it brings a lot more in the long run of the account. Like, I'll unlock Hydra, Drakes, um, Worms, just a lot of stuff, really. So, yeah, I know a lot of people... I hate this pole thing, I swear. They need to move that. But, um, I really do think it's for the better to the account, even though people are probably going to disagree, but... Yeah, I'm going to go through with Train Slayer for Konar, and that's the plan with it. So in the last clip, I ended up mentioning that I would block Calcite, and that would mean I just needed the 100 points. It turns out that I need 50 quest points, so that's not going to happen, and I will not be able to block them, sadly. So here we have 41 Slayer coming in. I don't know what that unlocks, I don't think anything important. But this also completes my calcite task. So what I've been doing is I've just been leaving the items on the floor. Uh, the way I got over here was I just ended up teleporting to Clan Wars uh, just right up over here. Clan Wars run all the way around, come back down here, and boom. So now I am going to teleport back to Zaya and go get myself another task. But as I said, I'm just leaving the items on the floor for the off Zaya task. The only thing I may pick up is the unique uh, corner ta um, items. So like, if I hit her special drop table that was designed for her unique Slayer tasks, I'll pick that up. I may pick up some of the unique items, but if I get like a runeful helm or something that's a normal drop or a rune scimitar, I'm just going to leave it on the floor because I'm doing a task off Zaya, and I want to try to present, prevent it from being like too beneficial to me. But I'll still pick up like the special drop table stuff, and I'm probably going to pick up the unique, so like Colored Mystic or something like that I'll pick up. Next task is the same thing as my first task. Alright then, I'll take that and... Let's go get us some unique drops. So I want to try to avoid like me getting a bunch of clips of like, hey, here's me getting a task, here's what I got from it, here's me getting another task, and that sort of cycle. So to try and prevent there being 20 some odd clips of that, I'm just going to screenshot and kind of uh, put together this image that shows, here's the task I got, here's where it's at, how many I got, and post like a picture of the loot since uh, Runelight has a drop thing which it ends up recording every single drop I get. So I'll like take a picture of that, put it underneath it, and create this sort of collage of one picture of all that information. I'll still show like the some of the major levels I end up getting, but I'm gonna try and keep this a bit shorter and avoid having like a 30 minute episode of making one task after another.
So I'm just casually doing this uh, Slayer task right now, and lo and behold, I hit the Konar table. We now have rune plate legs, which means I now have a full set of rune armor. Took me only until, you know, 103, almost 104 combat and 60 Slayer. But yeah, we finally got it. Plus, I got that juicy 183 Gold Ore drop. So I decided to take a break from Slayer. Uh, my Hespori Seed is ready, and it's time to fight it. So here we go, and let's see what the first loot is. Okay, so that was a little rough, but let's see what I got. I ended up using a random guide off of YouTube, so that's why it's a little... Ooh, nice. 75 farming, magic trees. Uh, that's not too great, but those speed up the rate at which I grow stuff, so that's pretty cool. I'll be definitely using those, and time to get out of here.
But yeah, I was using a random guide off of YouTube, and turns out, yeah, uh, Prank Range is a little bit better than Prank Mage. I was getting destroyed that first half of the battle. So here's a look at all of the loot I've gotten, or at least half of it. I tried to record most of the loot that I got from all of the tasks I've done. There are a few tasks that aren't here, but they were like hellhounds in which I got bones for the entire loot, so not really anything missing out. Uh, the items crossed off of red are items that I did not pick up, as they were off of Zaya. And here is the other half of the loot. So this is pretty much everything from tasks from like 38 Slayer all the way to 65 Slayer, which is the current level I got at this recording. Um, yeah, the loot's got better and better, and if you look down there, might be a little hard, I got a uh, surprise. Got a 2.5 mil worm task. Are you ready for the exciting, unique, valuable drop? Are you ready? It's a pillar. Now, psych, it's a dragon harpoon. End up getting get about 80 kills into the worm task, and yeah, I mean, I was just doing a late night slayer task, couldn't really record, and just all of a sudden, boom, you have received a valuable drop, the dragon harpoon. So that's going to be uh, pretty useful for when I want to just, like, pile up a bunch of sharks. But wait, there's more. I've gotten seven red dragon hide chaps from worms, plus on my sixth kill of dust devils, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to test my luck. It was pretty rough killing him, but I got it six kills in, so we've had huge upgrades to the uh, ranging supplies here, so really excited about this. It's been helping a lot in like the recent task. I've noticed a difference in the amount I've hit, and yeah, it's been huge. The broad bolts, the ranging gear upgrade, everything. So I know I haven't piled up as many seed packs as a uh, Landmass, the other Zay Iron Man has been recording his progress, but I mean, I got 14 of them saved up for you, and I guess I just want to open them in mass to kind of show you, like, hey, here's what to expect. Uh, most of these are medium contract seeds, or yeah, pretty much plants, whatever you want to call them. And overall, I really haven't noticed a difference when I've been opening the previous ones. Uh, basically, like easy contracts, medium contracts, they really don't seem to like have a huge impact. There's been a lot of snake grass seeds and a lot of irrit seeds. Uh, that's been the really pleasant thing. Ooh, spory seed. Didn't know you could actually get those from these. Uh, I actually do have one of these planet. Should be grown really soon. But yeah, overall, just basically getting a lot of snake grass seeds from these and just so many irrits like. I don't even know how to explain the amount of irrits. It's a nice U seed right there. I think I've got in. God, I'm probably at 50 right now if I had to guess. Let's see. And I see all these. Uh, yeah, I got 54. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you just pile up a ton of. Ooh, dragon fruit seed. You just pile up a ton of all of these like mid-level seeds on medium contracts, in addition to the lower level. I'm kind of curious how the top tier contracts have been. Uh, no one that I've known has tested them, and I haven't really like searched into it too much. Ooh, second dragon fruit seed. I haven't really looked into it too much, so I guess I could probably go check someone's YouTube channel. They probably have uploaded like me opening a hundred uh, high contract seeds, but yeah, no, they've been um. Sometimes disappointing, sometimes pretty good, but I haven't really noticed too much of a difference between, like, the medium and low. So, yeah, just basic mid-low tier seeds here. Um, is that a... Ooh, that's the Bellstaff tree. I'll take one of those. Uh, if any of you remember uh, on release, or we're tracking with those, those things were going for, like, 300k a piece because of the... Uh, Elite Diaries. I don't think they're going for that anymore, but I think I'm up to five of them now, so that should be some... Ooh, another Hispori and Dragon Fruit. Nice. But I don't think I can sell all of those things for a bond that I've uh, piled up now. Still, there'll be some nice Alks once I can get into the higher tier of the Farming Guild. So, overall, um, 
some pretty good snake grass seeds, uh, a lot of decent fruit trees and all that. I have five hispories uh, ready to go to battle. Plus, I got the one grind right now, so seed tabs looking uh, pretty juicy. Uh, all of those tree seeds, I haven't really been planting them. And uh, the snake grass is going to be really nice, but yeah. Plus all those irrits, I mean, that's a lot of herb experience. I'm already up to 205 of those planet. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you've enjoyed and that the Slayer exception I've made and instated on this account hasn't been too much of a turnoff for you on the series. I think it's going to be great for longevity of the series, allowing me a ton more content. And, I mean, there's so much I haven't done and there's been so much that I've done this episode. I uh, just all of the monsters that I've unlocked gear, all of that, and that eventually leads into like Drakes, Brutal Black Dragons, Necreals, the Abyssal Demons for Whips, and Hydra. I mean, it's a lot of content that's going to be in my late game. And it also does make maxing realistic. I end up doing the numbers, and it's about a Eleven to 12,000 hours efficiently doing raids to Relic Slayer from 30 to 99. That would take over a year and almost a year and a half gameplay, just solid playing to just max Slayer. I don't really think that's realistic, and it's just I think this is going to be better for the longevity of the account. I really hope it hasn't just ruined the series for you. It seemed well received when I was sending it out to multiple parts of the community, the Reddit, uh, asking in the Caveman Only CC, um, putting in the Discord of the Zaya Only. So that's why I went through with it. And yeah, just look at the stats. Here's what I got. And. Here's what the bank's looking like. I got a ton of alkables I'm going to need to do. Um, yeah, all these upgrades that I've gotten, it's huge. I got a ton of prayer experience banked, as you can see, like right here. It's probably a few levels right there. Uh, runes are looking a lot better, and range gear's looking insane. I've been chinning jellies on my task, and that's been great. I've had four superiors so far, and that's just been... I mean, that that was like almost 9k experience just from the superiors alone, which was awesome to see. Uh, potions, food, I'm bringing through the food, but it's not a huge deal. And then Dragon Harpoon, that highlight, the great drop I got. Sea tabs looking pretty good. Uh, got a five Hispories, five rolls at that farm pit, and the uh, bottomless bucket. Uh, supply tab, uh, you get a ton of ore in that from the Kona drops. I've already converted like some of this over to bars, as you can see with the gold. And then I got a few gem drops, and I got some U logs when they were on there, but most of these are from me cutting when I was debating if to do the Slayer exception. And then some magic logs I got from drops. I uh, just passively collecting white berries and farming that. Got ton of herb experience already stored up from doing farming contracts and yeah that's what the bank's looking like so uh pretty much gonna be the same thing next episode me working on slayer i'm gonna have some more skilling content to do but 99 range isn't too far off and that's gonna be amazing so also uh 1750 totals coming up and yeah it's a lot of progress this episode, a lot of big things, and I hope to have a lot of big things next episode. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, all of that jazz, and I look forward to getting the next episode out soon.